Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shines. If you're new here, I do Disney theme videos. So the last one I did was actually my eBay haul, so if you've not seen that, please go check that out. And today is another High Street haul. At the moment, it's quite a lot of stuff, especially leading up to Christmas, a lot of stuff that is out. Now, a lot of this stuff isn't Christmas, it's actually just like normal everyday stuff. So uh, yeah, let's just get into this. So if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you know obviously when I went to Halloween and obviously bought all of the Halloween stuff, there was other stuff as well that obviously they were doing. So I thought I'd just show you guys just in case, obviously I know Christmas is coming up, some people think it's too early. Me personally, I do like to shop all year round. So just in case any of the stuff that you wanted to buy for Christmas, that's what I thought I'd let you know. Um, a lot of it is kind of more like home sort of stuff. So like I said, just in case you're actually buying for yourself or all for the family member or even, you know, for your friend, that kind of thing. That's what I thought I would show you. But yeah, but some of the stuff I actually bought when I was buying Halloween stuff so like I said I did do a Halloween video for you guys a couple weeks ago so when I was actually um, in Asda um, I noticed in the Asda stores they don't tend to do a lot of this stuff so it's when I went on the website to look for Halloween stuff obviously I type in Disney on the Asda store this is some of the stuff that came up so um, I couldn't resist so I did actually ask Ruben if it's okay to get this one so I know it's a bit childish but I couldn't resist getting this one so if you know me Lion King's my favorite I don't actually have any Lion King duvet I know a while ago they did actually have some Lion King stuff but I didn't actually like the pattern of it to be honest um, so I asked Ruben if it was okay to get this one because it's actually double sided so you've actually got Nana and Simba on one side and then on this side you've got this so it's not too in your face Disney so it's quite nice like I said you do have uh, the option so this one unfortunately won't actually be on until say spring so this is going to have to live in the cupboard until next year um, just on the basis that at the moment we do actually have a, a Halloween one so we've got a Mickey Minnie Mouse Halloween one on uh, we do have quite a few Christmas ones so obviously over the next couple of months it's going to be between those so once Christmas is over this will be the next one on so nothing I got from Asda was actually this one here so I know it's a Christmas item couldn't resist um, so this is obviously uh, what they class as stitch mush so it was going around I think maybe last year or year before well obviously stitch was the main character that you get at Christmas so they obviously call it stitch mush um, so this one I don't know if I've got any of the prices to be honest because um, and something like this, if I remember right, it's about five or six pounds. It wasn't too expensive because if you know, uh, if you watch my vlogs, you know I actually have a uh, Mickey Mouse one of these. So it's nice to get a Christmas one. I could not find a Halloween one. That's the only thing because obviously I know Asda did loads of Halloween like throws and cushions and things like that, but I could not find a Halloween one of these. Um, also, when I went into TK Maxx for some tea towels for Halloween, couldn't find one like an oven glove for that as well. So uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be my Christmas one. So that's obviously going to come out every year. So we actually went out shopping with my dad the other day in Salisbury. Um, hadn't been in Salisbury in a while, just obviously with working and things like that. We went into this merchandise shop and uh, I like to go in just to sort of see what they've got. So obviously get ideas for Christmas, that kind of thing. They have so many new pops in there. So for example, they do certain scenes from movies, which at the moment I absolutely love. So uh, it's one of the things that obviously prime me went in there to obviously see what they've got. And they did actually have some exclusive characters or exclusive outfits. And Ruben Kanye actually bought me this one so this is actually a limited edition one so this is obviously Belle from Beauty and the Beast but it's actually her in her green dress now one thing I love about this the fact that one she's in a green dress I don't actually have that many things I've literally only got like a few things of her in a green dress but two she's actually reading a book so one thing I love about this the fact that it's not in a like a, the normal pose that a pop would be I like the fact they've actually started to make the pops a little bit more uh, like animated so the actual uh, figurine itself isn't them just standing there now it does actually show some of the other characters you can get so I believe I've got yeah I've got the bell one I know I've got the beast one with uh, the birds I don't have the guest on one um, but uh, yes they've got two bell ones I've got one of them but I don't have the other one the only downside is as you can see the price it was more than I'd like to spend on something like this but the fact that it was actually limited edition that's why Ruben actually got it for me because it's actually said 2021 spring convention limited edition exclusive so that's why unfortunately they can be more um, I normally suggest pops around about say £10 no more than £10 so I was actually really happy to get this one like I said Ruben surprised me when we walked out you know he surprised me this um like i said because he knows how rare it is obviously to get Belle in, in her green dress and the fact that she said a limited edition as well it's kind of like you're expected to pay those kind of prices knowing like those sort of factors so uh so yeah so my only issue now is because i literally only just moved us all around because Ruben kindly actually bought me another bell 
a while ago so I was like okay moved all around so now I've actually got to find a home for this one because that shelf is actually getting quite cramped now uh where else did we go oh so I went to Poundland now I don't know if I'm going to use this yet because I'm still in the process of using my stitch one that I got from Primark but this was five pounds and I find stuff like this it really comes in handy for me personally when it comes to obviously scheduling my videos so this is actually a, a desk planner so it includes a uh, to-do list sticky pads line paper and mini pad so I'm not plan on using this anytime soon it was just handy to have and again if you're working in an office or if you're like me and obviously you need to plan um obviously I know a lot of people just started like college and school and things like that stuff like this really does come in handy like I said I tend to use stuff like this when it comes to film my videos because sometimes I have to film my videos so far in advance because again it's a hobby it's not my job I think I should actually get that on a t-shirt um but yeah, so I sometimes have to film two, possibly three videos in one sitting. So I have to plan in advance as to what videos I'm going to be doing for you guys. And also if I need to buy anything. So for example, if I need to get anything that I think, oh, I need to do a haul for you guys. So for example, if I need to buy anything from Primark or Toys for a Pound or eBay or any particular characters I need to buy. So if I need more, say from Lady Tramp or Atlantis, that kind of thing. So stuff like this comes in handy. So when I am out and about or if I'm online, at least then I'm thinking, oh, that's, this is what I need to do so uh, when we were in Salisbury I forgot to say that um, they actually have this um in the marketplace they have this toy stand now it's not every time I can actually get something from there so I was actually every time we go we always have a look because we don't go that often when there's a market so obviously it's a bit of hit or miss what you can find and I saw this one for five pounds but I couldn't resist so this is obviously uh, from Toy Story so this is obviously um, Ham as a Dr. Porkchop and the fact that I like it that it actually opens so I don't know whether there was supposed to be a character that goes inside there but yeah it wasn't too bad for five pounds uh, they did have another one which was smaller and I think that was three pounds but I quite like this one um, I do have a Pixar playlist which I have actually talked about some characters from say Toy Story and other Pixar uh, things as well but I just thought this is an unusual version of ham that's why I want to get this and for five pounds I thought that was actually quite cool so the last place we went to was home bargains I believe I don't know what she says on these um, yeah it was either home bargains or it was B&M but I have a feeling it was home bargains but I have seen stuff like this in both so it kind of feel like if you can't see it in one it'd be in the other one you're probably thinking don't need any more of these but I actually got some more uh, drinking cups so this one I was primarily going to start using uh, for work because the one that I've got at the moment which is this one here um, it's actually starting to get a bit tarnished at the top and it's actually getting even, like more difficult to clean so I might retire that one to the shrine which was my frozen one and replace it with this one so this one's obviously got quite a lot of the princesses on on there. Uh, one thing I liked about this that actually had Tiana on there as well, which you don't tend to get a lot of Tiana stuff. I like the fact they are starting to include other princesses on there, so it's not the traditional ones. So for me, this is one reason I want to get it. And if you know me, I like to get ones I can actually see for it, especially when it comes to my water, so I know how much I'm drinking. So that's primarily where I got that one. But then I couldn't resist. I saw this one as well. So this is obviously for hot drinks. Um, they had this one, which was the Aurora one, and then they also had a Snow White one. If you know me, Snow White's not really my favorite characters so that's why I got the Aurora one uh, so another thing I got was a candle the reason I got this one is because it was Tinkerbell unfortunately it smells really horrible so it's not what I'm going to use it is really pretty to look at because obviously it's got that gradient of uh, cream to, to pink I don't know if it actually says it doesn't actually say what smell it's supposed to be but it just it, I think it's supposed to be like a floral smell but I think it's just I think it's because it's so like artificial it just doesn't smell very nice but to be honest I really liked it just for the container now if I remember right this was about five pounds you might find this difference obviously if you go in smell it let me know if it's something that obviously you've tried it might just be me maybe my adult nose is obviously changing smells so because I normally like sweet smellings that's why I thought I would like this but I think maybe because it's a bit too artificial it just it not as it smells chemically it just doesn't smell nice even my mum agreed and she loves candles she's like me we always have candles on so it's one of those things that it wasn't a smell that I was like mm, you know I'd actually use but at the same time it is really pretty to, to have so uh, the fact that it was Tinkerbell as well I don't see a lot of Tinkerbell stuff around so obviously that's one reason I got it and then the last one which took my my my, my mind a long time to work out what was actually written on here so this is a uh, bell notepad 
I think it's just the way it's written. My brain could not work out what that second word was supposed to be. Now I've seen it, it does actually say beauty and brains, but the word brains, I was just like, it, it doesn't look like the word brains. I think it's because the A looks like a D, so I was like, but my, it just couldn't work it out, like literally it took me longer than I like to admit as to what this word was saying. If you know me, again, I love my notebooks, it comes in handy again to write out um, for um, YouTube stuff. So for example, when I do uh, what I'm going to do in my thumbnails, uh, what I'm going to do um, in the cards and things like that. So um, I obviously have to write down the timestamps. The book I'm using currently, I think I've only got a few more pages left, so I will obviously be wanting to use another book, obviously to write down stuff like that that I need for like the behind the scenes kind of things stuff that I obviously can't write in the um, uh, the to do one this obviously comes in handy as well again it wasn't too expensive but like I said it's the same price that you kind of get like in say Poundland or even like Primark so yeah, so that was it for my high street one. So um, I don't know what my next video is going to be because I've actually filmed <laughs> three videos now. So that is my lot for today. So uh, like I said, because I have to film these videos back to back. So um, if you want to, then like and subscribe and click the bell notifications. So obviously get notified when all my videos go up and all my vlogs as well. Because obviously just recently done a Halloween vlog as well for you guys. So obviously I showed you um, what our place looks like, all decorated with Halloween and stuff like that. Um, I also obviously show you stuff that when I buy things um, before I film these videos, I actually show you in advance what I'm actually going to be uh, doing in these videos so it's a little bit of a sneak peek so just in case any of this stuff that you like I would highly suggest to uh, watch my vlogs because obviously it shows you when I buy it so you actually can actually see it earlier than when I film these videos but yeah that's it I'll see you guys next time later days Mimu am I wrong in thinking if I brought this to Costa could you fill this up with Dream? Like if I gave you this and be like, I want a hot chocolate, can you put it in this? Or just cost yes. an... Oh! You could be like, oh, can I have a hot chocolate in my mug? And yeah. Like, yeah, sure. Oh, and okay. You would get a bit of a discount. So if I brought this in to you, yeah, you'll just happily yeah, just... Yeah. Oh, okay. It doesn't have to be like a cost, but it could just be whatever mug. Yeah. Like, yeah.